for the Miracle flagship project at the University of Basel. We developed this virtual reality room. What is unique about this virtual reality room is that for the first time we provide volume rendered images in real time which allows surgeons and radiologists to visualize their medical image data sets uh, using volume rendering. Then they can walk around, they can grab the object, uh, reposition it, they can also change the size, zoom in, or zoom out, rotate it at will, so that they have the most comfortable and best view of the scene. As an additional option we also gave them a cutting plane. This cutting plane can be used to either cut through the volumetric data set uh, to for example cut open the skull or the cage for a better view of the scene behind it. But at the same time I can also switch this cutting plane into the CT mode. So I have a plane which is can be freely moved around and visualizes the CT, the original CT data set behind the scene. And this virtual reality room provides a very intuitive way of positioning these cutting planes in 3D space. During the project we realized that the shadows cast by the objects are quite crucial for an increased depth perception. In order to emphasize this, we also integrated an OR lamp into the scene. This OR lamp can now be switched on and we can freely select the brightness of this OR lamp. And if we move around this OR lamp, we can see that the shadows cast by, for example, the rib cage continuously change with the motion of the OR lamp. And exactly these shadows are quite crucial for an increased depth. This virtual reality room developed as part of the Werner Siemens Foundation funded miracle project was only made possible with the recent development of uh, virtual reality glasses as well as GPU graphics hardware. Of course combined with our quite unique um, volume rendering framework. Come <laughs> on.